Yet another manufacturer has joined the lithium ion phosphate battery craze and rightfully so. Why would you not? Why would you not sign a deal with CATL to build your EVs in Europe? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking, one of the biggest manufacturers of cars in the world or EVs in the world's Atlantis. Well, they were growing, but their EV sales haven't grown over the past 12 months has signed a contract with CATL, the biggest battery manufacturer in the world, for its version two lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now, why would you not? I mean, realistically, these LFP batteries are truly incredible. This is not hyperbole, they, they really are. Elon Musk pointed out the, some of the issues with LFP. Lithium ion phosphate batteries, they're cheaper to manufacture, they last longer, uh, they're less, less fire prone, uh, you can charge them to 100% and discharge to 0% and have almost almost no effect on the battery pack. Um, there's heaps of advantages to LFP. But one disadvantage is cold weather performance. Charging in the cold is not good. Um, battery use in the cold is not that good. You get less range. But CATL's version 2 lithium ion phosphate batteries not only have a higher energy density, they charge in the cold just as well as they charge in, in normal temperatures. But even better than that, in my opinion, is their actual charging speed, which now is up to twice, or even in some cases, three times as fast as previous lithium ion phosphate batteries. They're able to charge at up to 400 kilowatt, which is amazing for LFP, it's just unheard of. So you can see why Stellantis has gone well. This is a no brainer. The only, the only thing that I'm truly curious about is when are we going to see these LFP batteries in Tesla cars? It's just inevitable they will be. But even more than that, when will other manufacturers just say, yeah, okay, what's the point in trying to make our own batteries, which many others are trying to do right now, BMW being one of them? Why not just, um, if you can't beat them, join them? That's exactly what Stellantis said. If you can't beat them, join them. That was a quote directly from Stellantis. So that's not just coming from me, it's actually coming from the CEO of one of the biggest companies in the world. So Stellantis has signed a non-binding memorandum of understanding with Chinese power battery giant, biggest battery company in the world, CATL. CATL will provide the batteries for Stellantis's electric cars in Europe. And considering the battery price is around 40% of the cost that it makes to build the car, well, China, basically owns 40% of the European car market. Well, actually probably more than that because a lot of the other parts in these EVs come from China as well. Now I know that not every EV manufacturer is getting their batteries from China, but they will eventually, probably. What do you think on that? Do you agree? Do you disagree? CATL is supplying Stellantis with LFP cells and modules in Europe. So not just the cells, but also the module as well to help the latter's electric vehicle production in the European car market, basically decreasing their costs and massively improving their current product. Imagine if all current Stellantis vehicles had these batteries already in them. They'd be far better than what they are today. Far, far better. It's a game-changing decision here by Stellantis. So why companies, other companies haven't made this decision already? I don't know, it's a shock to me because, I mean, realistically, if you're a business you're not really so concerned about geopolitics, nationalism. You're just thinking, how do we stay alive? How do we stop from becoming the next Kodak, the next Nokia? To further support Stellantis' electrification strategy and goals, the two companies are exploring the possibility of forming a joint venture, says Stellantis. This comes right after Volkswagen Group and a number of other European automakers have formed joint ventures in China. So this is apparently, according to cnavpost.com, part of Stellantis's plan, long-term strategy to protect the freedom of mobility for Europe's middle class, said Carlos Tavares. So what's he talking about here? The freedom of mobility for Europe's middle class. Well, Carlos himself said that EVs would ruin the weekend. No, that was the Australian Prime Minister, sorry. I'm joking here, but he did say that. Carlos Tavares, the CEO, he said that EVs would mean that the middle classes in Europe would not be able to afford a car. They're too expensive and many people would become 
colourless because they simply wouldn't be able to buy an electric car because they're too expensive. It's outrageous, he said. And he made these comments on numerous occasions, very publicly, I mean, in a very Oprah-style way, very dramatically, very kind of emotionally, trying to appeal to the masses to not buy EVs. Then he gave up and realised that actually they were going to, and uh, they just, scientists had to just stop whining and moaning and find out a way to make them more affordable. Did scientists purchase Gigapress machines to do this? No, but at least they have decided that LFP batteries would help them reduce the prices of their cars. CATL will work with Stellantis' as many automotive brands to bring innovative and easy to use battery technology to its customers and will help Stellantis achieve its goal of reaching net zero by 2038, said Carlos Tavares. The LFP battery's long life and high thermal stability will help Stellantis offer customers affordable EVs in the B and C segment ranges, including sedans, crossovers, and SUVs, says Stellantis. Stellantis aims to have 50% of its car sales worldwide electric by 2030. Now, whilst this is good for Stellantis and it's good for its customers, it is clear that China is becoming more and more powerful. It is very clear uh, why the US are afraid of China taking over the global automotive industry because that's it's happening right now. BYD is China's largest battery maker in the LFP market. However, CATL are the world's largest battery company and CATL's recent lithium iron phosphate innovations are putting the pressure on BYD. I mean, you've seen these two companies are really duking it out recently. They're actually competing on price and technology. This is meaning better deals for automakers like Stellantis. Guys, let me know what you think on this one in the comments. Thanks for watching.